The house sculptures are an ongoing series. I feel like I'm getting close to the end of. I started doing these pieces out of recycled material. The, the first ones were, I thought, gonna be maquettes, um, made of cardboard, and they ended up being sculptures on their own. Maybe six, seven years ago, I started salvaging material from uh, houses that had been damaged, you know, siding, fences, that kind of thing. Milling it down, reappropriating, making smaller versions of those houses. So my direct response to the hurricanes was to make these houses that looked like they'd been subject to some natural force. Simultaneously, what was happening was that the housing market bubble was starting to burst. So many of the titles of the pieces reflect real estate terminology where houses are being reclaimed by banks and at once being reclaimed by nature. So I'm addressing both the economic bubble and burst at the same time that South Florida is recovering from natural disasters that crippled the economy here as well. I started referring specifically to houses in the area that my studio is in, where there are more cottage or trailers or vulnerable structures that felt like they don't have a sense of permanence in the first place. Progressively, they've gotten away from being scaled and specific, taking on almost anthropomorphic associations and forced perspectives that are beyond um, working at, as a scale model, so they become very object-oriented and also appear that they're bursting out of the wall. They could possibly be a remnant, but at the same time, you're seeing it as a sculpture. This sculpture is called Conjoined, a Total Loss. It refers to post-hurricane housing conditions in South Florida, specifically in the area of my studio in Lake Worth, where a lot of the cottages and trailers have been subject to severe or partial damage, but uninhabitable. And what I've done here is conjoined two architectural bodies into one, where they're impacting one another, and they're permanently conjoined. And total loss refers to insurance terminology, a structure that is beyond repair. I feel that this piece takes on an anthropomorphic form. Conjoined refers to a relationship, a bodily relationship, that makes it relatable to the body and to architecture, and is a believable condition following a natural disaster. The piece is made exclusively out of found materials, much of which were salvaged after the hurricanes. I used Venetian blinds as siding, as vinyl siding, and I devised a way to replicate a shredded tarp, which was so common at the time, even up to a year or two after the hurricanes. You'd see these roofs with shredded blue tarps. It almost looked like a skin. So in that sculpture in particular, I replicated the tarp by using blue foam and acetone, which dissolves it into like a skin and acts very much like burned flesh and uh, reads also very much like the torn tarps that were so common. What I hope that people walk away with is that decay is a beautiful thing and that all beautiful things decay.